guys so today we're going to be doing another room makeover i'm so excited about this room this is my one of my favorite rooms in the house i think i've done so far so let's go ahead and jump straight into it so this is zoe's room before and it is very plain very boring very dirty she has stuff everywhere nothing on the walls and she did kind of give me an idea of what she wanted she did want lots of pink in her room but i was not willing to paint her walls one color or like fully pink so i had a whole different idea for where i was going to go for her room but this is how her room looked before and it was just a hot mess so the first thing I did was go ahead and take everything out of her room. I had to put her laundry basket in the closet. I took everything off her bed, her chargers, just put some stuff away, picked up all the trash off the floor. She had so much stuff on the floor and everywhere. I took the sheets off her bed because they obviously needed to be washed. And I just kind of put her pillow and her teddy bear up and just got everything out of my way. So now I had to go ahead and also move her bed out the way because we're going to do something special on this wall. I wanted to have an accent wall in her room, kind of a focal point to her room. So I decided to paint a rainbow. Yes, guys, I decided to do a rainbow on her wall. So the first thing you see me doing is taking a pencil and kind of tracing out where I wanted the first row to go because this is an abstract rainbow. So it was kind of just like a, we're just going to make it work. First thing, do not use a pencil because the pencil kind of bled in with the paint and so I had to go back and erase most of the pencil marks because it was messing up the paint. So I did go over with some pencil and then I had to go, I mean with some paint and then I had to go back and erase the pencil marks. So these are the colors that I used. These are from Michaels. They were like 99 cents each. They are acrylic paint and I chose something like this that is temporary because this is not a permanent thing. She's going to eventually change her mind on how she wants her room. And I did have to add white to some of these colors. So I was about to start painting and then I realized that I needed to tape my um, my baseboards down. So I went ahead and went in with some painter's tape on the baseboards and on the side of the wall top so I can have some clean lines going on. Okay, so this rainbow took like two hours to do because I had little things of paint, a big wall, and one brush, and one person. So I went in with the first layer, which is the pink color, and I was kind of feeling like it just wasn't popping from where I was. So I did move the camera so you guys can see a little bit better. But the color was really, really pretty, and you have to really go in with like, I did three layers of the pink, so that one tube did last a good amount of time so I did three kind of coats of the pink before I moved on to the next color. So as you can see here's the color it wasn't popping up at first because I had the brightness so bright on my camera but you can see the pink is showing and I'm going over it like multiple times so it can really pop because I felt like it was too like it was too light and then because the walls is a gray color it kind of just was like not showing from the gray so that's another thing to be mindful if your walls are like darker than my walls you may have to 
either put some white first and then put the color. So now I'm going to go in with the second color and I did orange um, because the pink is replacing the red and as you guys are going to see this orange was way too orange. So I did go in with some white to kind of make it more pastel because we were going for a pastel rainbow look and I was looking at it and I was like wait this is way too orange. So I did go over it with some more like I added white to the orange and went over that. So now that I have the two rows, I didn't like how it was just like really defined. So I needed to blend it. So I took this little sponge and I took some extra pink paint and I kind of stippled in between the two colors to make them like gradient effect, almost like a sun rise look. And I really liked how this came out. It just kind of gave it this gradient look like the two colors were fading into each, into each other instead of just like two stripes. So I thought that was really cute. So I did this for every color so for the next color I kind of just took the orange and faded the orange into the next color so I just did that so like the yellow I faded the orange into the yellow I hope that makes sense you guys will see here
so now I'm at the last layer and as you can see I'm fading the blue into the purple and then I should have went in the garage and got the base color of the wall to kind of blend the purple and the wall together but I was kind of lazy and I was tired so I just kind of stippled the purple edges just to kind of give it like something different so it just wasn't clean but I think I should have left it the way it was now that I'm looking at it on the video I should have just left it the way it was but it all worked out in the end So I went to Michael's and I got all these little pom-pom ball things. I got them in like all the colors of the rainbow. And I had this idea of taping these balls all over the wall. And I had this double sticky foam tape stuff. And I started placing the tape and adding the balls. But then I didn't really like how this was turning out because I thought eventually I'm gonna have to take these off the wall. And I felt like the tape will stick too much to the wall and making it very difficult. And then it would take so long to put all of these balls on the wall and I just wasn't liking this idea so then I decided to do something else and I took the balls and I used a high glue gun and some sh silver string that I had and glued the balls onto the string and made these like hanging tassels so I was so frustrated but I finally figured it out and you're gonna see the end result it came out really really cute so now that I have did all the work, I'm going to hang up the photos first before I do the tassels. That way I have like a good placement of where I would put the tassels. So I found this cute picture from Michaels as well and it says choose kindness and it was really cute and it was so perfect for this particular room decor. So I hung that up and I also hung up some of Zoe's pictures that went with the room as well and I had to use my level to make sure everything was nice and level. I totally recommend buying a level to make sure you level everything out and I also use tacks guys so I there was no nails and extra holes involved just some tacks they're easy to cover up with paint so I recommend using tacks <laughs> So all my little ball things got all tangled so I'm detangling them but as you're seeing on the picture frames I decided to add some of those pom poms to kind of make it like flow with the decor but I have to detangle these pom poms first. They were so tangled and everything it was so frustrating and these pants were not the best pants for this because I had wedgies and I was stepping on my pants it was just a hot mess and I didn't want to go get the ladder so I had to stand sit and stand on the, the dresser thank god it's super stable but this is a what not to do when doing a room decor so don't do what I do but I'm basically taking some of that sticky tape and sticking the um, the balls onto the wall and then I later went in with a staple gun and kind of stapled right underneath the top ball you can't even see the staples and it'll keep it stable because they kept falling off and some of these I did cut in half because they were a little bit too long but it came out really cute If you guys want to see a DIY on how I made these string things, please leave a comment down below because I can definitely give you guys a full DIY video on how I made them. I didn't really record that part because I was sitting there thinking for the longest, but I will do that for you. Just leave a comment down below. So now that that wall is finished, we have a whole nother wall to do. So I decided to go ahead and tackle this wall. And I got this vanity from Greg's mom. She found it from one of her neighbors. So we sanitized it and I repainted this white color that I already had. And then I repainted the stool and reupholstered it with some fabric that I had that's like 
tie dye rainbow and I thought it was super cute. So next we're going to find the studs because I have to hang a shelf and a bracket wall hook thing. So the best way to do that is finding studs. So I'm using my stud finder to find some studs and deciding where to place this shelf. After successfully finding the studs I went ahead and drilled in and put the brackets for the shelf up I just got these from Ikea and they were black so I spray painted them gold to kind of go more with the room because gold and rainbow kind of goes together and I just set the shelf right on top there's no need to screw it at the bottom it doesn't really slide or go anywhere so next I'm just using some tape with some markings to go ahead and put on this other shelf so I just kind of put it on first I tried to use tacks but I realized that that wasn't going to hold properly so I did have to go in with some screws and drill it into the wall because I didn't really want to have to but it was necessary for this type of shelf so I got this also from Ikea I will leave everything down below linked for you guys to check out if you're interested in any of these pieces and a lot of this is really easy to install just make sure you have the measurements and have some have some patience And like I said, I did use my level. Um, that's going to be your best friend when installing things into the wall. Onto the wall is to use a level. And I said this in my last um, room decor video. This one was like $5 from Target. It works perfectly well and it has measurements on the side. So I would recommend using a level and don't forget to get a... A drill you can always rent one from your hardware store or just buying one and investing in one which is a good option as well okay so for the next decor piece I bought this one off of Amazon I thought it fit perfectly in Zoe's room it had two little rainbows on there once again I had to detangle it but also the little pom-poms matched perfectly with the ones on the other wall which was not intended I just didn't even realize that this one had it and it was super cute and I love how it looked she can also hang little pictures on there when she starts taking more photos um, it came with some little clip pins that she can hang pictures off of it so for now I'm just going to leave it and I had a wooden tack that I used that matched the wooden dowel that was on there so it's time to add some accessory pieces to the dresser I didn't really do anything special I just added a cute tray with a clear jar that had a unicorn in there and a fake plant I found this neon rainbow sign from Amazon and I thought it was super cute. I will leave that down below. A gold picture frame from I think Michaels and a cute box that she can add all her little treats and goodies and things that she want to keep hidden from her sister. On her vanity I added a nice orange candle, a picture, and a rainbow journal she loves to write so inside of her her um, drawer I added all of her other little dress up headbands because she has a ton of them so I thought they'd be cute inside of there so on this rack this is where all her dress up stuff is going to go all of her dresses and her dress up shoes her dress up crowns and her wands So next I gotta go ahead and make up the bed and I did find this full comforter set from Amazon and this little pink rug is something I had a long time ago. I actually went to Joann's and just got a, 
I think like two yards of it cut and I just kind of made it into a rug and it's super cute and fuzzy and it's pink so she wanted something pink so I added the rug. So for this bed set it's from Amazon. It comes with a pillowcase, a fitted sheet, a regular sheet and the comforter and I think it was only like $25 and what makes it so perfect is that the sheets have like raindrops that are rainbows. The blanket has one side that is solid pink and the other side has rainbows on there as well and I thought it was super cute and perfect for this space so I'm just gonna make up her bed. She does want a new bed frame but I'm waiting to find the right one so I still haven't found the right one but I felt like the black one didn't really take away because I used this sheet to kind of cover the legs and everything so it turned out just fine but later I am going to replace it for maybe like a white one Lastly, just cleaning up and adding some final details and touches and that was it and we are done with this room transformation. So I hope you guys love it. It's super cute. It's super Zoe. She loves all the colors and the rainbows. I am obsessed with this room. I love the little tassel thing hanging on the wall. I love the rainbow that's on the wall. Just a big old accent piece and a statement piece um her little this is my favorite wall in the whole house this wall is just super adorable with her pictures her dresser is decorated cute that neon sign is the perfect rainbow touch everything is cute so i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below if you want that diy video don't forget to see all the links down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Okay guys, since you guys are already here, don't forget to click and view some of my latest videos and don't forget to click and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.